Hi, Jamie Davis here at NTI 2014 for the nursing show. And we are here in the Trump booth with our segment looking at how we can prevent staff injuries and also prevent uh, problems with uh, patient injuries. And one of the ways you can do that is reduce the amount of things you move around the patient. I have Steve Palmer, Director of Marketing for Trump. And Steve, uh, tell us a little bit about the ISS here. It's an IV pole, but it gives, um, it makes it much easier to move and handle the patient. Exactly. Exactly. So what was a, a very simple idea turned out to be something that was very elegant for our users is most times with uh, all the equipment with the IV pumps and the solutions, they're either carrying the pull behind them while they're transferring or someone's pulling the pull while they're pushing the bed or they have to take all the pumps off and put them on the bed individually. So the team from uh, Streamline came up with this great idea is what if we could take an IV pull system and be able to dock it to the bed so it makes it a lot simpler for the caregiver to maneuver this and transfer with the patient, but also from the patient's standpoint, it's a lot more patient friendly and prevents any unwanted possible infections or IV lines being pulled out. And it's just very easy to demonstrate, which I can do for you. Why don't you do that? Super. So you just push down on that foot pedal and it comes unlocked from the dock and then you just roll it out. Exactly. And then this can be separate. If they're going down to, let's say, x-ray, they can take the patient, wheel this over with the patient, and then when they have to get back onto the bed, they basically just line it back up like this. There's a little tab that you press down here. It slides back up, and it just attaches to the bed. Very simple. Very simple, and really uh, prevents you from having to do a lot of extra lifting and twisting and bending. Exactly right. So when we were talking about when you move the pumps around, that's something that the caregiver has to do. And again, there's a patient on the bed, so they're always trying to take these pumps off, place them around the patient without them you know, being filled and crowded. And again, you're leaning over. Again, bad dynamics for, you know, human ergonomics, I guess. And we all know there are more than a few nurses and other healthcare professionals out there with lower back problems because of having to constantly bend over a patient, leaning and twisting in odd ways. And it just isn't good for a good good body posture. Exactly right. And, you know, again, the aging population of all of our, our, even our nursing staff and that, we want to make things that are much simpler for them to use and let them focus more on the patient, which is much more critical for what they need to do. And I like this because it actually saves you time, not having to detach all of those pumps, not having to move everything around. You have more time to actually spend some quality time with the patient rather than be rushing all the time to detach this and detach that and reattach it and everything else at the other end. Exactly right. And, that, and most people don't get that, that. You know, you think of all the things we're doing in a day and working with the patient. They're doing so many other things that aren't patient oriented. This then, like you mentioned, takes it out of their hands, lets them then focus on other key tasks that makes them more conscious of what their patient's needs are. So Steve, we're going to actually head over and look at another area of your booth Excellent. and talk a little bit about your booms and how you're using that to uh, improve the patient care experience. That'd be great. So Steve, you also have these booms that allow you to really bring all kinds of different technologies and resources to the caregiver and the patient at the bedside. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you have here? Absolutely. So this is kind of a different concept when you go into the ICUs today. A majority of ICUs use what we call like head walls. Again, your gases, your electrics, everything's up against the wall, which means all of your lines are connected to the wall, electric, cables, video, anything is there. What we found was that for the caregiver to get access to the patient's head, they literally have to pull the bed out and we call the dive move underneath all those lines to get to the access to the patient. What we've designed and what's come out over the last 20 some years is this concept of using what we call booms. And booms are these overhead systems that basically bring all those same services down, the electric, the gases, the low voltage, and they bring them right next to the patient's bed. That way, the caregiver has easy access to every, excuse me, 360 degrees around the patient, which then gives them that quick, easy access to their, uh, basically the airway, which is really the most critical part of the whole thing, okay? So the booms act as a conduit. We then can then design them so that we could make it flexible. And what I mean by that is when you have a head wall, your bed has to stay in the exact same place every time. But if you think about ICUs and the environment of healing for patients, you know, a lot of ICUs are designed with windows or over gardens. And so there are times where you may be able to angle the patient or you want the patient to have that kind of a view. You can't do that with a head wall. But with a boom, because we have basically 360 degree rotation, we can arc and rotate those arms and move the bed wherever we want. 
So it gives that caregiver that one-to-one -one relationship, depending on if it's a child, whether it's an elderly person, each one of those has a different care need. And by giving them the flexibility of position, that I think enhances that process. And really enables them to be able to be cared for in a multitude of different ways. So like you said, everybody has their own care need. Uh, if somebody needs to be in a position where they can see other people so that they just know they're not alone, you exactly. can move the bed. You're in the, you have the freedom to do that now. Exactly. So again, a lot of times the patient's family would be in the room. So you want to make sure they have access to that. One of the other things we found with these type of ICUs is they're going to need some kind of lighting. Again, we don't want to turn those overhead lights on all the time because again, that's very distracting for the patient. So a lot of times if they just have to dress a wound, something like a small little exam light like this would be perfect for them to come in change the dressing without having to turn all the lights on in the room and basically get out of there without disturbing that patient. Again, also a system like this where if you rotated the bed and the TV was mounted to a wall, here the TV is actually mounted off of the boom arm and it can go anywhere that the ped goes or this could actually be for the patient's family who's sitting there waiting with the patient while they're doing that they can watch TV or play a game or something like that. Excellent. Well, you guys have really provided a, an innovative set of tools to uh, help care for our patient in, in different ways and allow the nurse to really have the freedom to, to do many more things with that patient. That's exactly right. So it, it really is a combination of caregiver and patient and making that, you know, that balance that you really need between the two uh, so that everybody has a safe working environment. Well, Steve Palmer from Trump, uh, we'll have a link to you guys in the show notes. Uh, do you have a link or a website that you'd like to direct me to? We do. It's uh, Trump, excuse me, it's us.trump.com slash med. All right. And we'll have a link. It's actually showing up right here, right now. I'm Jamie Davis. We're here at NTI 2014. Remember to follow us at nursingshow.com for all of the information and other segments that I have from this show. All of the things that we're shooting here at NTI 2014 with the Critical Care Nurses Conference is brought to you through the generous support and sponsorship of Physio Control. You know, I couldn't do it without them. And you need to understand that there's a lot of things that you could be doing to improve your CPR, improve your resuscitation rates using their tools, whether it be the Lucas, whether it be CodeStat or LifeNet software, or even things like their LifePak 20. Whatever the case may be, I want you to check it out. Head over to physio control control.com and check out all of the amazing tools to improve CPR for your facility and your own practice.